Chasing the Racing, powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt and Benelli motorcycles. Three, two, one, and welcome back to Chasing the Racing, episode 150. And we're delighted to be joined by Lee Johnston and Paul Jordan. How are we doing, lads? Not bad, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. You look a bit b- 100, bewildered. 150 episodes. 150, and you were the first person to christen this studio. And ever we were, since we then, were talking about that earlier, weren't we? It was in the 40s, somewhere in the 40s. I can't remember exactly yeah, which Jesus. one. But it's called The Christening, if anyone wants to go back and watch it. And you were also on at Snatterton. Yeah. yeah, sort of. That would probably be like 50s or 60s or yeah. something, like, ages ago anyway. But um, I put a thing on the other day asking for who people would like on. And back by, uh, you had a few people asking for you, so back by popular that demand. was actually me messaging <laughs> off like other people's phones <laughs> uh, but uh, how are you both doing anyway you so had a good off season and getting all ready for the year go on, I'll be polite you go on oh, so basically long... Paul, Paul's had a little operation and he's been walking around day in to tell everybody about it today <laughs> so we may as well just get it out of, just, get your arm out so everyone can see oh you want me to hold it up like this <laughs> oh. is it all bandaged up like Oh, do you want to see it? Oh, yeah, I, no, there's, there's nothing to see. It's just a band. It just looks like I've just pulled a lot of hair out. So. Is it like a Keith Keith Lemon special type of thing? That's exactly what it looks yeah. like. Honestly, your hand looks like part of the Elephant Man act. It, it's massive. The swelling in that. Yeah. Come on, Jesus wept. Hey. Hey. Wreck it, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I so you just had the arm pump surgery. Yeah, I had it done there yesterday morning. So you've <sighs> had you've had a similar operation, haven't you? He actually well, talked me into it. Yeah, but. Mine fucking wasn't even... Are you allowed to swear on this? Of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> Mine wasn't even required because my arm pump operation come off the back of my blood thing. So I never had any arm pump like my whole career racing, really. And then like last year, I started to get bad arm... Well, just before I got diagnosed, I started to get real bad arm pump. But I figured out it was because of my back and stuff and I wasn't using my legs. And then I went and got the operation. Then I got diagnosed. And when I got diagnosed, the... the physio guy says oh yeah that'll be why you got this so i didn't even actually need the bloody operation Jeez. but did still we, no did, did you have were you diagnosed before you came up you couldn't off that when did you get diagnosed again and tell our listeners what you've been diagnosed uh, so with. back at the start of last season literally right. in january yeah so you haven't been up the show hasn't no no, no, no time then, but yeah so then after that like it's in the middle of the at the start of the year I started getting it really bad so in between two rounds i just jumped it's only in literally it's in Manchester so I left my house at 11 o'clock and I was back home for half two or three is that Dr. Funk? I don't no, know, no, no Mike Hamm uh, Hayton Mike Hayton, Hayton that's yeah. it now. so if anybody wants to go uh, share a few quid my direction <laughs> yeah. um, I'll get you the details is that the arm clinic in uh, Manchester? well it's like just in Spire or whatever but yeah he specialises in He's an arm surgeon as such from your, I don't know where that starts, your shoulder or your elbow or whatever. Yeah. Jesus. But um, yeah, I went there, I got that done and then realised after that I didn't actually even need to do it. So, <laughs> so um, I mean, I presume most people that watch or listen to this will be aware of your YouTube channel, but you've got like a real cool vlog on YouTube, a little plug for you. I'm a bit of a big deal, really. <laughs> yeah, you do, it's doing well. And, it, and uh, obviously, like for people that have been following that, they'll kind of know all about your, your um, diagnosis and stuff. Yeah. But d- I can't exactly remember like what it was all about yeah, so it, it was basically just like inflammation of the spine is what it's it's not really some of the journalists class it as a blood disease but it's not really classed as that it's inflammation of your spine and your SA joint and stuff but which obviously is created by your blood but it's i had i said that and i thought that's what it was and i had some people on telling me it's not but I was just going by what I was informed. So, um, yeah, it's just a, we- a weird or rare type of inflammation. So you just basically can't do anything. Like, I, I was, like, pretty much bed-bound at that time um, until I started getting my injections and stuff, and now I'm I'm absolutely brand new. Class. How many... In- are you still having injections now? The, yeah, for the rest of your life. So it's like a gene-blocking drug as such. So, right. um, yeah, you'll never not take... It's just like a... What do you call it when people are di- diabetic? Mm. Like an insulin jab? Yeah. So same thing. Just... I thought that was a needle then. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, just, a, a, <laughs> just a, an insulin jab. So it's just... I, the only thing, I have to keep it in the fridge. I don't know if you have to do that with your diabetic. So I've never travelled anywhere. So it can't be out of the fridge for like four or five hours. So I presume you just buy a little, you know, a, a cool bag or... travel pack. There must be some sort of a medical thing for... 
Mm. Yeah, put that in the des- description and then people can tell me what I need to buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose none of you go to like a long haul flight or something. Yeah, so I don't know. I've never, I haven't been away since, obviously, since being diagnosed. So I don't know. Like normally I'd go to New Zealand and stuff. So I'd need to yeah. bring, bring my, my drugs with me. But um, yeah, don't know. I'm sure there will be, yeah, sure be some sort of way. If you say you skipped two injections, oh, with mate, the I, missed pain one, just... I missed one at the. So because I've been really good recently, I take them on a Friday. And I missed Friday before I went to the test. And like Saturday, I was like, oh, I feel a bit funny. Sunday, it's like, I'm a bit sore. And then I clicked on Sunday that I forgot it. And then after doing a bit of riding, when I got back on Monday, I was like, couldn't do it. I was like, proper not doing much on Monday. I had to take a steady one. And then obviously I took it Sunday night as soon as I got back and it'll take a day or two to show off again. But yeah, if I don't get it, it's like... So in order for us to beat him at the TD, we need to read his fridge. Oh, they are similar size. It's all right. I'm really honest. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the... it, it's now personally. <laughs> just, just read the fridge. Fill, 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 fill an injection full of water. Yeah. Just in the <laughs> and obviously, since the last podcast, uh, you've been really busy in British Super Sport. Of, I think back then, I can't remember if you'd won a race like yet. I think it was after the last podcast. Uh, I can't remember. Really no, remember I though. definitely hadn't won because I only I didn't win it won win <laughs> didn't win any of the year before mm. uh and then i managed to fluke a few last year because of weather and people not being on fast bikes and uh all sorts of stuff so um yeah yeah but to to summarize like the last couple of like since we've last done the podcast you uh, see i was trying so- to take credit for this since you've been on our show oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you started oh, winning, sorry, so- i totally missed that <laughs> <laughs> just just yeah, really in to chrissy rice riding school <laughs> George- no, but to summarize like you've had a good few years and like some yeah. class races wins podiums like like you're doing really the, well the bit that makes me laugh is because there's a load of kids in super sport now that don't know that i'd been there before they are they're like 18 19 20 and they think i've just come back Stop. from road racing and I, and I tried the light with you I was like oh this short circuit stuff's great fun isn't it though like letting on I'd never been there before but I think it must fuck them off do you know what I mean <laughs> because if if some 30 odd year old bloke come back and thought oh, I'm gonna have a go at this mm-hmm. and sneaks a few wins and you're there like proper trying to carve a career out I'd be <laughs> I'd be embarrassed me like mm. <laughs> Every super sport race. I mean, yeah. listen to this guy. What a belt! Oh, yeah, but you what would like. Do you know what I mean? And even and even I don't know. Like obviously, like Jack. Jack is a level above everybody else and deserves to be on a super bike. I feel a little bit bad from that. He had a go and it didn't work out or whatever. And he deserve. He fully deserves to be on one now. Yeah. And it. And I wish he was because then it would be a bit easier in super yeah. sport. Um. But that's just the way it works out, doesn't it? And I would never. I'm really grateful to be able to come back because like the first time round I was on bikes and then I didn't have enough money to be on the right bike or whatever and it was just a waste. I know that it's a waste of time. If you're not on the right bike, on the right team, you might as well not bother. And Jack obviously understands that because he's on a good super sport bike and why would you get off that to get on a bad super bike? Do you know what I mean? It's like, what's the the point? So he he knows that and I would love to see him on one. This is turning into me trying to sell Jack Kennedy. You're doing a good but job of it. He keep d- going. He des- but he does deserve it. And I, I think the rest of us are all pretty close. Do you know mm. what I mean? But he's genuinely like first session, he'll be 0.6 quicker than anyone, literally three laps in. Do you know what I mean? The pace is there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so. in, in all fairness, like I don't think he was on the, the, the best bike last year, but that kind of that handicapped him to make the race in a lot more exciting. Yeah, yeah. I did yeah. It. And uh, in all fairness, I think he yeah, he did a like well, yeah, he did an amazing job. Oh yeah, but without, it's gonna either. be it's gonna be interesting this next year because obviously he's back on a on a Yamaha it, uh, in a top team, but also uh, the likes of like Brad Perry's coming on strong and uh, it's uh, like I I definitely don't think it's gonna be plain sailing for Jack now. I think the level <laughs> Yeah, possibly can mm-hmm. rise, but what's your well? You race in the class. What do you think he's going to uh, piss it this year? I I think yeah. Yes. It's going to, I I un- yeah. I understood. You, I understood yeah, what his bike I, was like last year. Do you know what I mean? And I know my bike. If Jack was on my bike, he'd win. Do you know what I mean? I have no. It doesn't bother me saying that. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm not 18 or 19, and I'm not trying to prove to the world that yeah. I'm. You know, I'm going to be this good. So you I are think... the oldest youngest man I've ever met. I've got I, well, get... I'm 33 year old. Mate, do you know what mate, I mean? I'm not you, like a. You sound like you're... I remember being 18 and seeing someone at 33 and thinking, "Fuck me, he's nearly dead." <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's that's what I, I, I know that. That's why I'm not I'm not under any illusion. Uh-huh. So, but I think yeah, he is. He is going to be very hard. If I, I think I've took a step each year. Like the first year I come back, I was like genuinely top five. I could sneak a podium. Last year I was really upset if it wasn't on the podium and then I snuck some wins 
So if I could, I don't know if I will or not, but if I could take the same 5% jump as I have the last two, then we might be somewhere there. But. Do you know, in terms of the, the whole paddock, I would say you've got a very unique kind of... Um, I don't know, not, not the right word, but like you're very unique in the sense that you massively play yourself down and you're like... Um, like I've, I think it's a really good quality, and it comes across like it's very modest. Yeah, but there's no but... nothing worse than under delivering, isn't there? You're yeah, better, you're better off. No, no, but you know, like um, I've heard you say like on numerous times about you, you feel like you've uh, with the little talent you've got, you've like massively overachieved. That's like what yeah. you've said, but like nearly ev- like nobody else really says that. So it's like it's unique, and I think you, I think yeah, people like they, really, were, really like it. If you were it. honest, do you know what I mean? If you could be. Like, if you could genuinely look yourself... If some people, you see young lads now and you think, oh, I'm going to go to World Show Bikes. I'm but you're not really, are you? Do you know what I mean? If someone like Taran wins the British Championship and can't get on a decent World Show Bike, how is some, yeah. some boy in 10th that's dreaming about going to World Show Bikes? Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just mo- most people kind of like, they maybe haven't quite achieved, but they're like, oh, if only I had like a better battle or if only if things where you, you're like very much on the flip and you think like, I've like snuck this. Oh, and I've things. rinsed every bit out of it. <laughs> you know, that's just being in the right place. I'm like, I know for a fact there's probably better, well, there is better riders than me since I started racing that I've quit racing, do you know what I mean? Because maybe didn't get a ride and things don't, that's just the way of life is, mm-hmm. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And I would agree. Like, I remember being, from being kids, like those people that were a lot better than me. Yeah. And the, yeah. And like oh, that kind of fall off. And it's that thing of like, if you can just make the grid every year, yeah. you're like, you are always improving. And it's like, there is something to be said about that sort of just consistency and Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, a lot about you so far. Uh, what 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 you been up to over the last like sort of year? Or... It's all been pretty quiet. Really, just been doing bits and bobs here and there. You know, it's not really been consistent from what I have been doing in the past. So it's uh, it's been hard to sort of try and keep the momentum going from when it was in twenty nineteen. So have you been doing any racing back home? Or? Only bits and bobs. We've done Armoy, Cookstown, really, and um, Bishop's Court in the last two years. That's really all the riding I've really done. So it's. Uh, Sort of this year is just trying to get myself back up to speed again and keep get the momentum going that I had before and pick up where I left off. Because mm. you were a busy mind. Oh. You're one of the busiest road races going. So you won Burroughs for the Nationals. Yeah. And then you won REF Reserves for the Internationals. And then anyth- I, I, anything else between that? You had your own R6 then, uh, doing that with your brother. And then, then I had the Minstrel uh, on, classic bike as well. On the 750s yeah. as well. Jesus. So like, on paper, it was going to be non stop. And then mm. obviously COVID hit and. Sh- racked everything for me so uh that's just one of them sort of sort of took a step back now to try and go forward again and just reboost and in terms of like teams and stuff for this year what's your um riding, Nike. Uh, <laughs> what's your stable for this year uh riding uh, john preston's and sandra Perez racing team from nile man riding their r6 got a yamaha r1 and then they just built me a super twin as well so i'm gonna be quite busy with, with all their stuff so did you used to ride for them done one round last year with them at Cookstown, which is sort of like a I thought I step and stone in to see how things were going to go, and then it's and, all materialising something else. And stable of bikes wise, is it the new R one or not last? It'll be last year. I Wait, anyway, go BC it, bike. You I know think it's mean? it's still the same bike that Jamie rode right in nineteen. Jesus, they, they did offer to buy me a new one, but realistically, I don't think at, at the level I'm now a big bike, it would be I wouldn't benefit off it. Where they says we'll go and put more money into like something like a super twin. Get me a spare engine for it, whereas I d- might have a bit of a chance to get a half decent result on it. So I've said to go that road. So obviously with the six hundred and the twin, I think that's my two strongest classes. Mm. I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna have to bring up the super twin crack because you're the Aprilia front. Are you want a Kawasaki? I am. That's interesting, right? We'll talk about that later on down that rabbit hole. But I'll, I'll tell you what, that question's totally gone from us on that side of things. But BSB, are you doing that this year? Is that so the plan? We're doing Snedert No Limits next weekend, and then the first round. At Silverstone, I was following weekend doing it in Super Sport, and then the next weekend we're doing it in R one, and hopefully the twin I'm going to try and squeeze it in as well. I did. Did you see the Silverstone No Limits? In not Silverstone, was it Silverstone the first round? Did you see the entry list for that? Oh, like just... Billy McConnell won it, and then they had like the the Hawk Racing lads. Who else was there? Uh, yeah, pr- practically the BSB grid turned up to that. Plenty of people getting practice in, yeah. right? And uh, man, in terms of the Yamahas, they haven't been a particularly. Uh, like sort of common choice for the for the TT yeah, but going into this now. year you've obviously got yourself and then the OMG lads yeah. the two OMG lads Jamie Swan one as well Jimmy Card 
Right, okay, I didn't yeah. know that. So yeah, there's gonna in in the top twenty, what's that? Five. Yeah. And and to be fair, Jesus it's, it's, I'm surprised nobody is because they're that rider rider friendly. It's they're unbelievable. The thing is they dominated then, everything last year in like yeah. in terms of like yeah, motor world suit yeah. bikes and Mar- and pretty much everything, didn't yeah. they? But the mad thing is leading up to that though, that like I've, I think we mentioned this on the pod prior, like Jamie Coward's a one thirty point he's a one thirty plus man, he's the first yeah, yeah. man to do it on the Yamaha, Jamie. But prior to that you had uh, Dan Dean, that, that, William that, Dunlop. Yeah, that's actually not true. Go on then. Dean did it on the March A and R one about five years ago. Really? Yeah. All done in practice or in race. Jamie is now. I don't think the bike made the race. Uh, Jamie is now <laughs> especially the fastest Yamaha. Well, in practice, right yeah. He did the one thing. Yeah. Right. Oh. See, I'm just full of facts, me. <laughs> I have no idea what my own time is, but I remember him doing that on that bike. One thirty point nine. Is that what mine is? That's your fastest yeah. big bike lap. You were trying to tell me it's one thirty-two there the five, other day. Mate, that's like five years ago, was it? Would have been high. Yeah. And uh, Super but you, you've won, you've won two days since then, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the new uh, the start numbers have just recently been released as well. Were you, were you oh, well? Were you all happy with like where you were placed? And did you have a choice? Am I allowed to answer this honestly? Yeah, go on. I just tell them where to put everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't well, basically, put, basically, put it this way you know you for I, mind got, I got people ringing me up the other week about like me and Paul Phillips are, are mates but cycling mates you know what I mean we, we don't we never even talk what's, what's, about motorbikes what's the distinction yeah. in there no but we're, like, we're, we're both really into cycling do you know what I mean right. genuinely yeah so but there was like some hoo-ha about super twins and stuff recently or whatever so random people are ringing me up going Oh, can you have a word and say, I don't even have any authority in my own fucking house. I sure as hell don't have any authority at the TT. I was like, but what, what must go on in someone's head to think, you know what, I'll ring Lee Johnson. He'll sort this problem out. I'm thinking, what spectrum? Is it? What, what do you think's happening? Do you know what I mean? I'll know not to ring you. But yeah, yeah, but they, they do. They ring you up and go like, and I presume he does this with the top 10 or 11. Wait, do you know what I mean? It is. Do, really. Yeah, yeah. It's... And he says, where are you? And I'm not honestly bothered because it's the same bloody distance from the start line to the finish line. Mm. Unless you've got some kamikaze pilot in front of you or behind you, which there isn't really any of. Mm. So what's the, do you know what I mean? What's the, what's mm. the force really? And I know, That's... I know some of the lads don't like being beside someone else. Do you know what I mean? And I can see why. But is that so? Because they don't want either for them to catch them or yeah. Normally that's the case. To like get held up. I was that. stuck behind Hickman the last time, and he was in the way all the time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I honestly would have had a good five wins, <laughs> only for him being there and distracting me. But I'm not going to sit here and slag him off on the podcast. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but there is there is people that think that, and there is for the other thing is if there was a slightly younger rider, maybe one in front or two in front they know they're going to pass them and then they're going to get a free tow round for two laps or three laps in a big bike race that they would never normally get. And if you're thinking two years ahead, well, all of a sudden, why have I held Tim for, do you know what I mean? There's yeah. that. So, yeah. yeah. Do you, um, does it make quite a big difference if someone, you know, when you say a free tow, like if if you're, you know, doing your job and like doing the things and someone comes past you, is it like quite easy? Is it quite, um, do you gain quite a lot of time by jumping on the back of someone? <laughs> You've all got. <laughs> it's it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's about momentum, isn't it? <laughs> like to be fair, I was thinking of my second year at the TTI. Sweeney caught me, passed me, and I sat in behind him. I was like, you know, obviously he's caught me in the road, so I said, if I could sit here, yeah. But see when I was actually sitting behind him, it felt easy, you know, and you felt like you did have that bit of pace to go past him, mm. but obviously. You don't want to pass him because he's passed you, he's caught you in the road. So. And did that, uh, in terms of your speed, did oh, you make I, a jump? Yeah, I went up a couple of miles an hour. Right. But, but, you know, you wouldn't have known. As I say, you go, if you attack the track, you come in and you say, oh, that was a fast lap. And it's like, no, actually, it was shit. And then the lap that you do, that you think you're just out for a Sunday cruise, is the, the fastest one. Like, I mean, it, he said that when he won it. You like you've said that. You said everyone... yeah. I I don't like somebody in front of. I I obviously I do in super sport and BSB because I love getting the toe off Jack. Do you know what I mean? It's the easiest way to qualify. But on the roads, I prefer to be on my own. I think. Um. Even like I'm not actually when I did catch Hickman in that race. Like just I was morally amazed, but I didn't get right on him. Do you know what I mean? I was two three seconds off him. Mm-hmm. That was fine. But then when we passed um, somebody else, I don't know if it was Davy Todd or I can't remember. But when I'm in that bit, I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't like that feeling of because there's so many places where it's like a crest or a blind. It's not like a short circuit, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's so repetitive. Mm-hmm. 
but on the roads, like any little thing, and there could be someone else in front of him that you can't see, and you can't just trail a break into like a bumpy corner. Does that make sense? Where somewhere that you normally wheelie through, and all of a sudden you catch someone and you're a trailing break, whatever. Well, you're going to fall off by doing something that you just you were you couldn't yeah. see. So it must be quite difficult to to pass someone clean with it, because obviously you don't want to get that too close because you block the yeah. vision, so you're kind of hanging back. But then to time it so that you can catch and, and yeah. pull out yeah. and pass, because otherwise it yeah I can imagine especially through I've never raced obviously, but like through the blind stuff, if you were like yeah. right up someone's chuff and you couldn't see like the road ahead, it must be like a bit sketchy. And even the slipstream as well. So if you're you think you're doing 150 or 60 mile an hour most of the time. So like say Ginger Hall or Rams or someone, it's really bumpy and there's a bit of wind buffering. And the roads are straight anyways, you know, yeah. and always aren't you like just following the road down mm-hmm. following down the middle. Have you have you lads been over since the changes? I was over there three weeks ago. How much has changed then? It's going the other way around this year. Well, no, Happy the, days. Honestly, the, <laughs> I haven't been over the mountain because it was closed because they were doing the work over it. But like the, the run from the Ginger out. Hall to Ramsey is they you thought it was bumpy before it's a motocross track now really they've made it worse That'll suit us it, big it hasn't touched, that, that part hasn't been touched yet since i was there like yeah. that bit after ginger hall you go up to the top of the crest down into that left hander oh that isn't a pickup and i'm sitting he's trying to say you out look at these fucking <laughs> look at it. they've resurfaced the whole lot it's like i've been, <laughs> I've been riding motocross all day with sugar tits yeah. i'm on it man. Uh, i'm on it don't there's you bits, worry there's bits where they've removed a lot of the trees like before the conquer sheets, just mm. back a bit from it. There's that left hander, I don't know what it's called. Because like White Gates have leveled that off. Paul Phillips put a photo of that the other day, and that that looks like a bowling green now. I have no idea where that is. Neither do I. Ramsey, Parliament Square. They go up the right, and you know when you get to the oh, brow of the hill, oh, and then you go to the left. I right, all that. So when that's, you... that that is my one of my favorite corners it, it, on the oh, track. It yeah. It's outstanding. You get yeah. a full like decompression on the like yeah. when you exit the turn. But then if you do it right, you're in the in the in the, yeah. in the industrial industrial estate, the housing estate. If you get it right, you're like, Wah! it's fucking mint. Mm. <laughs> I, I was just thinking about that before. No, about the numbers that people are probably chuffed in the top twenty that you choose to run thirteen because no, like the superstition thing. I and then nobody else wants it. You no, think? nobody else would want. I'd, yeah. Well, I'd, I presume nobody. I know Croy wouldn't want it. He's fourteen. Yeah. And I, I asked him, and he said, like, if I got offered, tell you what, I'll get some slipstream off him when he comes with Asphodel. Jesus. Are you, expect, are you expecting Croy to pass you? I might just sit on his tail pod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I have no. Honestly, I've been that. I'm that involved in sort of wanting to win a super sport race or a super twin race that I'm not I'm not forgetting about the big bikes. Obviously, I want to still go. And I might get on at that new bike. I haven't done a lot on. I literally went to Macau first time on it and finished fourth because I thought, oh, this is really good. Yeah. And I haven't, I literally rode it the first time the other day for, and I sat in my workshop for two years. It's been there since is that 19. An M or an S? Uh, whatever the 19 one is an S yeah so yeah. not the smoky one the one that doesn't burn oil <laughs> not like that one you have now it's another one <laughs> it's good because you know when you don't get any free stuff you can just slag everybody off it doesn't matter <laughs> we, we pay for everything uh, he's sitting there going oh no no it's good being that. <laughs> that's what you <laughs> no, no, I, no no I wasn't I, I wasn't on that one but I was behind yeah. Taylor a lot and, yeah. and Taylor's like every single I couldn't believe how much uh, yeah. oil was there coming was actually one out in Spain, uh, some young kid I can't remember. Is that a plane going over? Plane over, yeah. Um, that's some young kid, and uh, I, I couldn't believe yeah. the amount of. I was like, going. I couldn't obviously pass him because he was faster than me, but I wanted to tell him. But then I realised that it's just completely. Normal. But because I hadn't been in Superstock, and I, it, you didn't realise, but it must be so off putting. Yeah. Riding behind it, and at least you're doing it this year. Now you'll be blowing it out on everyone else, won't you? <laughs> my, 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 well, mine doesn't do it. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mine doesn't yeah, right. do it. <laughs> Ever so good, my VM. Have you have you had a go of the split throttles yet? Yeah. So basically, Fine. we ran. Yeah, I like the the feeling of it because it's quite friendly. Um, the other thing we haven't done enough on it yet to warrant like the engine braking and the wheelie control and everything. Like I said, we literally got the bike and mm. did one track day and then went to Macau on it and I think we must have fell on a decent set and some of the the I wanted to put a German accent on there but the, some of the Germans come with us to Macau like the engineer guy so they obviously had a, a bit of data and stuff to put in the bike but I like it because it feels a lot smaller than yeah. the older bike. Do you know you what I mean? It's, 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 yeah, it's weird. If you yeah. if you had a big bike but put a small tank on it, it automatically feels like a little bike. Do you know what I mean? It's because of what's in between your legs and your reach and your handlebars and stuff. So you, 
it naturally feels that size, you know, even with my TT tank on it and stuff, because it's all under the seat on the stalker. So, um, yeah, we we just have a stalker. We don't actually have a super bike or anything. We're just going to run a super stock bike for everything. Mm -hmm. And then same bike as you use for British Championship in Super Sport. So like that'll be sh that's like yes, it's not the actual bike, but yeah, yeah we've another one for the roads. Like, yeah. But yeah, it's just just the exact same bike. It's just the case of if you did have a slide off you don't want to be going to the tt on a loom that's maybe crashed or you know anything like that there yeah. it's just not worth it's not worth the hassle of the bike getting damaged so imagine breaking down because a wire's been nicked or something yeah are you, are you concerned about the the new rules with like the triumph and stuff or do you think your bike's still going to be probably the best bike i honestly i honestly think that the older triumph is faster because yeah. I have, I still have my older Triumph and I know what horsepower it is and it's got more horsepower than my R6. I just didn't like the feeling of the bike, especially right. at the TT, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I still have the lap record at the Ulster Grand Prix. I know, but that really fast race for me and Pete, we still didn't even break my lap record from two years before. How close were you off at? Mile an hour, I think, which is... Wow, yeah, which that's is a lot. Bit, yeah. mm -hmm. But um, so I know how fast Pete's Triumph was, obviously, because I was sat looking at the back of it for a long enough time. Mm -hmm. And I do, I've raced with the Triumphs, obviously, last year in British Supersport, and I know the level. So all of a sudden, if we get to the TT or the Northwest, and that Triumph or whoever's on a Triumph is stronger than my R6, well, then it's not the same Triumph as what was in British Championship. Right, yeah. Because it's, it's, yeah, it's all controlled on the yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for um, what do you call him? Scott, Scott Smart. Smart. He's done an unbelievable job at like smacking that in. And it was really good because I'm like quite friendly with Kyle Smith and like we talked about it and everything, you know, mm. on the bike. And even in sessions, we were beside each other just to see, do you know what I mean? What the and was it pretty level? Yeah, the the bikes were unbelievably level for literally throwing the thing straight into the class. So mm. impressive. And I don't think anyone's running the Ducati. Although I don't know if that's Sam West. Is that eligible at the TT? Well, that's what he's running. I've seen it. In the, is that, he's, uh, he's going in, for that, is yeah, he? Yeah, the list, eh? what, what is it? An, an 988 or 9988 or something like that? I don't know. Don't know what something like that. And the, they're about five. Is this planning Rob Paul Bird's tent or something like that? I think they're about 150 brake horsepower standard. But then they, yeah, they same as. But it's sort of ruined the sport now because I spend a lot of money a year at raffles on engines. Mm -hmm. And why would you not just go and buy a Triumph now and detune a 10 horsepower and it runs you all year? So do you think that's what well, that's people what everyone like any especially any like a slightly lower level or club racers or whatever? Why on earth would you bother trying to build an R six, tune the life out of it, run it on mileage? Do you know what I mean? Risk it blowing up all the time when you can just buy a standard Triumph. Ah, so do you think tune it. as the rules evolve, you think they're probably going to be just going to be a Triumph? It's going to be a Triumph Cup, yeah, and Ducatis as well because it's the same thing where the well, it depends on yeah what they're how competitive yeah. they are. That'll be interesting. Um, they, I think you have to take a lot of weight off. The, you have to take like 20 kilos off the Ducati. So yeah. there's going to be a bit... Well, it depends on how easy it is, but I'd imagine there's going to be a cost factor to... It looks it looks really trick at the Daytona 200. Yeah. Oh, there was that one Ducati. Yeah. Like the where, where did it finish? It, uh, it didn't. They, they messed up. <laughs> That's fine, they, well, man. <laughs> yeah. The team messed up on the oh, fuel. Did yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't pick for, uh, early enough for fuel. So he was like, he ran oh. out of fuel and had to push it and then lost about a minute. And then... But lap times and stuff, he was really competitive. Oh, yeah. Because, well, looks, to be fair, Josh Heron was on it. With yeah, it. Like, yeah, it so look, yeah. his level of rider, you would say, should be. Yeah, and you're on the R6 for Super yeah. Sport as well. Spot on. What uh, where, What are your starting numbers, by the way? Uh, 17 in the Super Sport and then 33 in the Super Big, which I don't really understand that one, but right. it is what Do it you is. think you should. Uh, well, I super... thought it was just because I've seen other people that. So they say they go off like a lap time, but there's people in front of me that's never rode a big bike that haven't even a lap. As fast as me in a super twin, but in front of me in a super bike. Really? So I don't really know how they make it Put up. official but... complaint into the T. Are you listening have, to him, Have you not had a word with Lee? <laughs> oh, I, 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 that, was, that was me and Ragan. <laughs> <laughs> it was me that got him 33. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. The only thing, I don't really care where I start at the end of the day. It's where you finish. It's, you know, it's qualifying. Yeah. You get up. And I, but well, it's just practice. Yeah, I was going to say, am I right in terms of if you qualify the fastest out of the non-seeded riders, you'll be yeah, going 21st? Yeah. All right. And then, but it's just the, the start of practice, you know, obviously you're getting away with people that, that you can make it held up with or whatnot. You don't get away with someone like Dom or Lee that could give you a bit of a tow along. Right, okay. Oh, fair enough. And on the, the twins, and I'm kind of really looking forward to this conversation because we're... They, we're, they haven't released always... the numbers yet for them, have they? Huh? Oh, wasn't they the well, super you, twin numbers? You've got it, like, what you're number to see. I haven't got mine. Have you not? 
No, oh. you have us in your entry list. Is it? Is it being released? Mm-hmm. Do you want to do it live on Chase and Race and let's see his face? <laughs> but uh, I was, yeah, I was going. Well, we we'll we'll smash his face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, I've sorted you right out, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> number number ninety two. <laughs> Are you yeah. going to do it now? Nah, I'm not. I don't know. No, fuck it, I will. I'm, 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 <laughs> he's trying to pretend he doesn't care. Yeah. Just before no, you talk amongst yourselves. Can I just say, just, yeah. no, just before you check, what, like, um, have you got, like, a... Well, I know I'll what be seeing Because I haven't been he's, given he's a just number. just in front of me, 16. In Super Sport, yeah. you're 16. Where, where, where would you like to run on the twin, or who would you like to go after? I, oh, fuck, I would like Jamie Coward to be behind this, but I reckon he'd be number one. Right. I'll be amazed if Jamie's not number one. Why, why would you why? Jamie behind Would you, you? right, can I okay, ask you no, another no, question? It's, it's, it's the toe the, system. It's exactly uh, the toe system. If you had the choice like, to be number one, would you pick number one? 100%. Fuck no, fuck that. No. 100%. No. Were you, is the reason I've you're been, saying not? I've been the... one straight. I didn't even make the start grid that I was at in 17. I was one. I spent a fortune on a house and spent the whole week in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but mate it freaked me I went off I've been off a couple of nights have you ever been off first in practice I'd love to no mate I, it, I well fair play but and fair play to McGuinness but it's not for me and what's why, the reason why, why? I, just, I just think I, of, I got right, to go so once. there's there could be anything could run out in front of you right so all everything you scare Fuck away with noise fu- yeah oh shit you remember Oliver's Mount with right. the deer exactly he was, le- he was leading up the <laughs> He was leading up the so, hill. And and I'm not saying that it, it is, but at least when the animals have a bit of a fright, when Big McGuinness comes past, <coughs> well, they're not going to run back out again. You know what I mean? That that was it fried my head. Mm-hmm. Whether I'm just weak mentally or whatever, but I couldn't. I, That's I, the sort of thing that I would. It would be that would play on my mind yeah. a lot. And for that reason, I would. It's it's just mi- like mitigating risk, isn't it? And yeah. like, that's like, but like <laughs> having that. Like I had a. He just I, want. He just wants the photograph done. He doesn't care yeah, about no, it. I, 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 I tell you what. I remember James Hillier. It changed his career. Well, changed his career when James Hillier. Did you get? Did you get the no, camera? not yet. I'm. I'm in the conversation. Not being rude. <laughs> but it's, it's like no. When James Hillier did it, ah, he was always seeded. But then he got his chance at number one, and then the fat like the faster lads came out, and he went from like one twenty seven to twenty eight. 32s. Yeah, I will. Yeah, but I'm not. I See, I don't have that in me to do that. I'm not a brave enough person to go. What's your ideal? I know you should never in. You should never go off your ideals, but oh, I bet your no, ideals are no like idea. 130. What's your fastest on a super sport? I don't even know 26 that. 26 or 27. No, I'll be quicker than that. 20, I think it's 27. I don't know. Got to be um, comfortably in the 27s. It is, it is. You don't know, but, but in, in 2018, on the fifth lap, Dean Harrison did. <laughs> I, know, I had a question there now. I forgot all about it. He stumped me. Well, I, um, I was yeah, going to ask. I don't know my ideal. I was going to ask about the. Go, check that. I'm dying to find out. Um, <laughs> the obviously running the Aprilia, and that's been it's done really oh, well yeah. in other countries, but we've had no yeah. big international events to race it at. So it's like there's a huge but question the, mark. The rules in America are a lot different to here. Much more open. For yeah. The so Aprilia. like like a, a a brief thing on the rules here. Obviously, for starters, I have to be 10 kilos heavier than his Kamazaki. Right. Yeah. So all the advantage I have of, like, I'm generally probably 10 kilos lighter than most average road racers. Yeah. yeah. So that's out the window. Then, like, straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe seven, then Phil. <laughs> um, that's harsh, that is. I tell you what, <laughs> you said that, not me. He, um, so I think I think I might get away if we can get some more horsepower out of it because a good super twin now is probably like 105 horsepower something like that 105 or 6 horsepower in that region yeah yeah and my bike's not at that so right. and we're still trying to get it at that but obviously then you run the risk of it blowing up so I haven't got the time frame to be fit to do Fair a load sure. of riding on it and do a little bit more tuning I'm literally mm-hmm. Bit of, a, bit of a geeky question, but you know with the Kawasaki's that come standard at like, what, 60, 60-odd mm. 60 horsepower, and then you can get over 40 horsepower extra from doing yeah. various things. But the Aprilia comes at like, say, 95 or 98 yeah. or whatever. What, what, where do yeah, you start in terms the, of getting the thing, more power? The thing, of, the thing about the Aprilia's, and it's the same as like the, what's the Superstock Aprilia called? An RSV? V4. Yeah, but it, it comes like, a race bike, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like the gearbox is coated. There's a lot of stuff done to it, and my little engine is just half of one of them. Mm-hmm. So the biggest worry is if it comes at 97 horsepower, but they have already made it pretty a level of tune. Well, then you're not going to get 20 horsepower. Out of exactly. it, do you know what I mean? You're really lucky to get five. Mm-hmm. It's, so it's, that's sort of the situation we're in now is trying to find five horsepower. 
Right, okay. Which That's... doesn't sound a lot, but if That's a lot. all them things or a lot of them things are done to the standard bike, obviously it's not going to be on the the level of Can we video on his reaction? <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck up. Nah, I'm not saying mine until you say yours. When's this going out? I don't know when. Then. We, uh, next oh, be, that'll be out. That's out now already, is it not? Nah, you full of shit. Where That's full of shit. Nah, oh, Dom, where are you going? I haven't got mine yet. I was just joking. He's laying because he's, he's he knew before. Well, Paul t- Phillips, the, be, the, be, the best thing is though, I've just logged on to mine, son. So get your phone out. I already know my password. He's laying. <laughs> tell him what he is. What what is it? You're full of shite. That's what it is. Well, what don't worry. Now you, I tell you what. Now I want to know yours. I'm going to say you're off at. I'm going to say three. I was going to say three. I'm number five. Is that good? That's good. I'm over the fucking oh, moon. Right. Is, that the, high, is that the highest you've started? So who's, Easy. Who's, uh, who's, what's the number school called? Good thing, good thing we've got Grace editing this because if this doesn't, if the news doesn't get out, she'll have to edit this out. Number five. I mean, so who's, who's ahead of you? number eight. Shit. Who's ahead of you? I have no idea. I, you can only find out from the, the noise. Well, who do you I've know just so far? So five on, and eight. I know who's one. Go on then. Oh, you said it earlier. Jamie. Mm-hmm. He, that's him away. That is him away. So who's number two? I said with Michael. You on reckon the, on the pattern? That's the re- mm, Michael. They normally it's, split the. Fa- it's yeah. it's good. There's obviously a lot of. I th- there's a lot of thought that that'll goes be a away. massive advantage to Michael if he's gone oh, off behind sure. Jamie. Oh, massively. That's so, a proper hook out. But you see, J- Jamie. Jamie's consistent. Jamie is. I, he, he's, he's not faced. He's like, confident. He can just dig in and goes. He, Jamie doesn't need a carrot. Mm. I think so Jamie is Highland off three. Then at least if I pass them two, you have a good chance of winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to keep things modest. <laughs> so you're three. Anyone know four? You're five. I mean, I'm assuming I'm three because that's what I am. Yeah. Do you know who? Roughly, yeah, that's, who could that's be a four. huge four thirteen to three. Yeah. It's, I don't know. McLean, McLean will be three in there somewhere. Adam McLean will be hungry for it. So I tell you, he's a question mark. Where's Derek mm. McGee? He's not racing, don't, is he? Uh, don't know. He's, he just hasn't appeared on anything. He, he's well, he had that big pit bike crash. Maybe he's in prison. Jesus. Just throwing it out there, like you know, <laughs> fresh for the rumor mill. Rumor mill. Yeah. Is uh, Davy Todd doing? Uh, what's well, called? he's not on the contract. He's a pageant rider. He could ride anything he wants, couldn't he? Hmm. That's yeah. theoretical. Do you know if Davy Todd's that? on for one this year, mate? He's he's look. He's got he's going so well at British. Oh, he's, he's on for one. Like he's a one thirty one summit. He's I've a fast no lad. A uh, quick question for you as well. Do you know how you haven't, you haven't done any like laps in anger around the TT for so long? Do you, in preparation, do you do like any sort of, um, do you run through laps in your head? Do you do anything on the Xbox? Do you uh, like, do you over, think about it a lot? Like I've done doing laps? Three journeys over, well, three trips over now so far and I've done in a few laps. Cars, cars or bikes. Car, right? right. And just re-familiarising yourself yeah. with everything. What about yourself? Well, I, I had planned to go over right and, Whitham's just got a new plane, so I thought, this is mint. I'm just nip over. But I went up the other day for approximately 17 and a half minutes, felt sick, and I had to come back down again. So really, that was the end of my flying career. And I hate the <laughs> bloody ferry over there, so... You're going to tip Can up on race I'm going to watch on board. Right. Yeah. Can you just not hack the... Is it the... Do you know what? He, he, he Once he like put a bit of a purn into it and it was banked, it was fine. But see this... Like, oh, <laughs> man, no way. I get, even, I get very sick looking at the ferry coming into the harbour. Really? Yeah, I'm and terrible. Do you, um, did he, <laughs> from man a man who's born oh, on a bog. Yeah. It's like, like all, it's all life. That's what like is. Did Whit, does he let you take control of it? Oh, you weren't even off the bloody airfield. And he goes, all right, lad, have a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> while he's trying not to be sick you're like this here, but yeah. <laughs> no, it's not good for your health. But I, it frustrated me that much that I want to, like, I'm going to take some travel sickness tablets and have another, because I want to, I would love to learn how to fly. Yeah. But you can't obviously do that if you're being sick every time you go up. It sort of takes a bit of the enjoyment out of the job, <laughs> doesn't it? But um, yeah, so I'd planned, like, we were going to go over and have a mooch out and stuff like that there. But yeah, until I can last more than the journey over without being sick it's not looking too um but i did i I literally started watching some on boards um a week or two ago i can't normally always get to a full lap i get a bit bored so i'll normally like watch to ramsey and then i'll watch the next bit and then i'll watch in bits in between and stuff but it's not the same like i know kids learn it and everything you know for learning which is left and right but you just don't get the feeling of i'll watch a few for that to just jog me a bit but 
you can't sit on your sofa and watch somebody doing a lap record round Brands Hatch and then go and do the lap record. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's That's the way it works. In, in terms of your plan for this year, are you doing the full uh, British Super Sport as well as Northwest TT, Macau? I don't know about Macau, to be fair. I don't know Macau's back on. Yeah, wait, wait, no, I, yeah I'll I do know. whatever road races there is, but yeah, full British Championship. So I've never done that before. I've never done the both yeah, yeah, thingy, together yeah. at the same time as, as well as running your own team yeah I don't even discuss that how how is that stress ball going for you I mean, I've done a lot of growing up in the last few months well again like we know this because of you've like you've logged on your social yeah. media people listening might not know but do you want to just quickly explain the fact that you've sort of taken on the reins of like actually running the teams yeah. up um, so if you want to see everything, just go and watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm not saying it on. <laughs> That's the um, answer. Yeah. Um, I go and plug away. No, no. Um, yeah, so basically people think that this is something, not that I didn't want to do, but Roger, who was my crew chief, ran the team, which is obviously quite rare as well, because he, he is a top level. He come from me from the factory on the team. He's got the rights just to be employed as a crew chief, but I managed to talk him into doing that and running the team. Um, for the last couple of years since 19 and then like at the end of last year he literally said here um, because he lives in the Midlands and our team's based in Beverly and he had to stay at the the workshop we had him a house and stuff he stayed there for three four nights a week he was away from home he had back-to-back weekends so he was literally never at home and he he doesn't really need to be doing that much do you know what I mean and he literally said here I want to take a step back and he literally bought a barge two weeks ago and he sealed it the whole way home, the, it took him the full week of getting home the week before the test, just gone at Snedderton. And um, so that's what he's doing. So I basically, I didn't want, I wanted the team to all stay the same. So he was happy to still be my crew chief. Get it down, you lad. Um, get the Red Bull label off. Um, <laughs> he, still, he still wanted to be, uh, he still wanted to be my crew chief and I didn't want to change anything. And I couldn't bring somebody in during the week like who wants to send in voices and do like it's basically all the shit work do you know what I mean yeah yeah and then we talked about it and he says oh well you have to speak to all these suppliers and everything I thought well I might as well learn to do that now as anywhere so instead of doing work on a building site or whatever I've come back now to literally working full time in the workshop well three four days a week in the workshop but I've, I think we've actually ended up saving money because it's me now going to all these suppliers mm-hmm. and it's the, the, the product for me. So I'm there going, come on. Like, and it was never up to him. Do you know what I mean? He shouldn't have, it didn't, it didn't inch. Why should he be trying to get a better deal? Do you know what I mean? He's trying to sort a product out, the best one we want or whatever. But in my nature, I cannot help myself to try and yeah. rinse somebody, you know, to get, a, <laughs> to get a better deal. So, but even, even the, and, the response what, and, you get when you, when you ring up and they'll go, oh, who is it? And I go, oh, it's Lee. Do you know what I'm trying to? And they're like, oh, yeah. Off YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Off chasing the racing. <laughs> but they, because like what now it is, what rider rings? to order parts, do you know what I mean? Of, of any sort, like whether it be race bolts or reactive parts or, you know what I mean? Like yeah. realistically. So they're, they're actually almost happier that you're dealing with the person that you're selling to. So it's been really busy and not going to lie, I did shit myself a bit thinking I would have forgot something, but literally a week before the first test, like I brought Roger up because he needed to do some electronic stuff and I said, right, think of everything do you know what I mean and I think Wi-Fi for the truck was the only thing I hadn't done so it, it, it left me a little bit more a little bit more relaxed and, so. but does it worry you at all that uh, you, you know like say on a race weekend that you're going to have too much like, no so on a like we sat down at the first test and like so the guys like send me their invoices and everything when the weekend's over and we've got a little clipboard in the truck so whatever gets used they all write down and nobody speaks to me about it on a race weekend. Roger is the team manager on a race weekend, so yeah. they, they don't ask me anything. Do you know what I mean? Maybe he'll ask me something if it's really important in the evening time at the test or something. Go, have we got this or was this sorted? But literally, when I'm there, then my job's to to ride the bike and bar maybe some extra sponsor work and stuff. But yeah, that's fair. just part of the. By the way, do you just want a rich energy. I'll throw me one out there. Want, sugar, uh, sugar free. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want I'm trying to get a Red Bull deal at the minute. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go. Have you seen Billy Bulls just got oh, one? Oh yeah, it's fuming. Yeah, fuming. <laughs> um, <laughs> good. I can't remember what I was. I had to, oh yeah, do you know when you mentioned got on a uh, was it a barge barge pole or something? What did you say? Like a boat? Oh, Rogers just bought a barge. Yeah. Do you know? Um, uh, 
oh, Gareth and Jane from yeah, the yeah. Padding Managers. Yeah, Do you know yeah. they they've went off and they've got a, a like a Rosie and Jim. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what he's got. Yeah, yeah, and you can get like all around Europe on them. And yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's mad. Oh, it's it's Quite a cool, cool way to like spend your retirement, wouldn't it? Like they, they spent a lot of time in Spain, didn't they? Off on the off season. Yeah, if you could get yeah. a barge for yourself and then one for your missus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, it's mean because my missus doesn't watch any of these, so you can say whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, but you couldn't. You would. You would. I, said, it. I said that to Raj. Like I said, could you live on it? And he's been on it a week, and he said no. There was no hesitation. You know what I mean? It's meant to go on. Holiday, but you've got no shed, you've got nowhere to store anything. If it's wet out, you've got a canopy on the back. So even if you had bicycles or anything, they're either in the living room or they're on top. And if you're in tunnels or whatever, it needs to be on the back. So can you can you be classed as a resident on one? Yeah, you can live on one. What, yeah. What's the tax rules for like? Because you're not actually in like you're not on land. Chris, he's buying one. Chris, he's buying one here. here. Where are you off? Down Endo, the you going down Andorra, Andorra, Andorra. Yeah. Andorra's a place to go, in it? Like, yeah. everyone's, everyone's I don't in think Andorra. you can take your barge to Andorra. Yeah. That's, not, that's not possible. Have you ever been to Andorra? No. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of like the ta- Isle of Man where people use it as a tax saving place. But it's slightly different because you just pay a set fee to get into Andorra. You don't do that in Isle of Man. Well, it, with Isle of Man, you can pay the set amount, like the maximum yeah, it's, it's amount. It's a maximum. It's only 20%, yeah. yeah, no matter how much. But in Andorra, you can literally pay, you pay, I can't remember if it's 50 or 80 to get in. And if you don't leave before five years, you get it back. You have to stay there for a period. As a fact, yeah. Is, but if you leave earlier than that, I, they keep I thought it. the other man was one hundred and fifty, and then that's a maximum. Yeah. You can't pay, you pay any more than so. If you earn like ten million or a hundred yeah. million or a billion, it would be you pay one hundred and fifty thousand pound tax. Is that not right? I'm only at one hundred thirty-seven. <laughs> <now, so. laughs> I, I, I thought that's what the, there must I, be some rich people that watch this. They'll know, won't they? But yeah, probably <laughs> stick rich, in the rich comments. Northern, rich, rich, <laughs> there's no it. such thing as a rich northern. They can't, they're, no, no, they're all thing. tight as anything. They're all loaded, aren't they? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> anywhere above Yorkshire. We'll probably get all... charged for these, won't yeah. Here, share this with me. <laughs> I tell you, it is funny traveling around the UK and sort of seeing different. Uh, I always, no matter where I go, I always look at house prices and just as like a sort of rough gauge of like where. What do you yeah. get? You're, you're keeping a proper and secret it's so, life here, it's so Chris, funny. You like you go in places like in um, in the middle of London and you're like literally like. It's flats for like three million yeah. and then and yeah i always like look and sort of like cover it over and think like what well, and then but you know it's expensive when the advertisement is based on foot and not by the size of the house do you yeah. know what i mean mm-hmm. like normally yeah normal houses are like a bedroom they go bedroom size three bed four bed but yeah. in london or whatever it goes on a single flat 80 square foot or 100 yeah. square so that's you're buying it but, per the foot not the but, uh, some people listening to this won't actually believe this but we'll, like where we live uh, there's, pl- there's places you can get you can buy a house like a and you know you could, like good like a house right. to live in um, for like for like, like what a, other short houses <laughs> I mean, it's like, like a nice, you know, like a nice house. Like, it's not on like a, like a, you wouldn't not want to live there. It's like, you know, just like a normal What do you mean? Why, what like sort, sort of, of house do you not want to like, live in? F- uh, you can get a house for like 40 grand. What? You can get buy a house like where we live for like 40, 40 45 what, grand. Windows, doors, the lots. A full lot. Windows, doors, oh, bridges. Windows, 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 over. 40,000. Yeah. I th- but when it's you, in like Bradford and like all pla- over the country there's like Liverpool and f- oh. yeah. there's, there's, but yeah there's places like but on the other side there's pl- you, you you can go places and there's like the millions for like things it's such a disparity uh, you know that's what I like about driving from Liverpool off the dock and that you have like a millionaire row yeah. then you have a slum and then it backs up onto another million like the like, and it's literally a postcode divide and you think that's I mean, do you know like for like say a million quid in some places in the country, you get something very like sort of oh, averagey for yeah, a million. Yeah. Like where we live, you get you would oh, thirty five like, houses. Well, you could get like something like private drive with like f- like mansion basically for a million. Yeah, I, mm. well, it's like it, uh, it, it's like a normal. That I would be. I was about to say because yeah. like mm. me and Lee went up to um like Broad Beers or one of his yeah. sponsors there uh, for a little talk show, and they were talking like Lee was having the crack and talking about you were talking about going home for a little bit, weren't you? Yeah, so you when. Going it's a long, well, my, my, me and my missus first, I think maybe even before Jesse was born or when she was I pregnant. I would have been here, you were five or six. I actually put a bed in in a house, um, literally two miles away from my mum's house. And I remember thinking, like, I started looking and like what I was looking at here for the money I was going to spend, I was like buying a three bed house, nothing fancy. And then I was like, just randomly on right move like you do. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll just chuck that in at home. I was like, 
Fuck me. I've got a castle here for, for the CM. <laughs> That's another thing. Do you know there's, there's castles in Scotland? Yeah. Uh, like, rid- this lad they're loves a bit of right moves, doesn't it? They're completely Absolutely. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, they're completely in the middle of nowhere, but like the most beautiful buildings you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, but that's what I thought. Like, I love where I grew up and everything. But now, having spent so much time, like where I live now, we're in the middle, like we're 20 minutes to Manchester, 20 minutes to Leeds. You can, if you can't, if you could think of something that you want to do and it's not within an hour of here, well, then it's, it's not legal. Do you know what I mean? You're not allowed to do it. <laughs> But then, like, even if my cousin come over to visit or I go home sometime and I'm like, oh, we'll just nip Fernando's or do, like, there's not one here. Well, we'll just do this. That's an hour and a half away. Aye. It's like there is literally nothing. And I'm not slating it because I loved it as a kid. But if I'd never been away, it would have been fine. But to go back after being away, I think maybe when I'm old, I could go. Do you know what I mean? When you don't want to be doing them sort of things. But no, it just, about it yeah, no, it had just it'd irritate you thinking that you couldn't do it, even though I probably don't want to do it when I'm here of no interest, but not being fit to do it, all of a sudden you go, Oh shit, I wanna do this. And even the amount of travelling and stuff, like if you're I do like race schools with him and all that and he literally picks me up at my door and we go and do it. Like if I was imagine having the flyover for that, flyover for BSB, it's just not it's but I just couldn't be bothered. It's yeah. mad how many be like uh, like Irish lads, Northern Irish as well, like are racing in British. I think they're not living here, and yeah. the, 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 that extra expense. Now that, that's it, the bit that especially now. It's when massive. I don't British, that's what killed me. Like, well, that would be even worse riding for a Northern Irish. Uh, sorry, um, an Isle of Man team. I, am, I know that must yeah. be even worse. It's a good job they got a massive budget. <laughs> Right, to afford him, it must be oh, massive, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And then Lee is my manager, you know, yeah. it's even worse. Jesus. <laughs> what a fortune, lad. Some had a fortune. That's it. <laughs> Roofing. Roofing's where the money's at. They yeah. are simple as that. Simple as that. So you're looking forward to British then? No, I'm looking forward to get just just getting time in the bike. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm. He's lying. He said he was going to be on the podium the first round. That's all right. He said yeah. he didn't want to mention it on here to get the hype up, but <laughs> between us four, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, no one else. And no just one block, else. Lock it up, <laughs> yeah. and no one else. No, I am looking forward to it, to be fair. I'm just, just looking forward to getting, enjoying riding my bike again. You know, mm. I just want to get the enjoyment back. So is it literally just the Silverstone round or you're doing the lead up? I think know? we're doing Open as well. Right. So, and then obviously, so then I think I might have, trying to get a test in between Silverstone and Alton on the twin again, try and get more time in it as well. Because it's yeah. literally it's just a new bike. Well, mm. it's not new, but it's been built back to new. Aye. Bloody hell. In so. the deep end. In the no, deep I'm end. Not... Don't forget your armbands, young and Jesus. Oh what? yeah, you did a few. You enjoyed it though, didn't you? I loved it. I got my ass kicked. I, I I loved it. First time I did British, I got lapped by Jack Kennedy, and then the next time round I, I didn't get lapped and I got points, so I'm <laughs> there you go. But it's it's two and a half grand a weekend, that's uh but Ah, you know what, it, you know what it's, it's like. You know what but it's like. once you go to like the likes of North West and you've had that much time on the bike, it shows like, you know, it's, you know time of the bike. You, you can't, but do you, you can't think if it, someone like... said to you for two and a half grand, you can win a TT, it wouldn't sound a lot, would it? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. And like even, I think, yeah, I know it's not, you say two and a half grand, like it's easy. I understand what it's like to earn two and a half grand. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, but when you put it into the context of if you did two meetings and that made you two mile an hour faster at the TT two years sooner, well then you're the maybe the extra start money or whatever you, you would be better off. Do you that, know what I mean? That I, I totally agree with that, but that like that gamble element. But you've be it's well, like, the one it's the yeah, one yeah. element because every time I did British, I've only done it three times. But it's actually that conservative thing before the TT going. We've got one bike. Yeah. I roll this. It's gone from two and a half grand weekend to yeah. a, a twenty grand bill. But before that, you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I completely that understand is, that. Yeah. But then you're weighing that against weigh and want, aren't you? So you've yeah. got to be willing to crash the bike to gain those yeah, yeah. two mile yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You look at you're going to do Cookstown. How much will it take you to go do Cookstown? Do five laps. Whereas if you spend the money you spend to go to Cookstown and spend it on going to Open Parkers or Silverstone, how much more track time do you get? What no. What do you benefit out of going to Cookstown? You'd get more advantage going to a BSB than you would go to a road race. I totally agree. I totally yeah, agree yeah, on that side of things. But like, that, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to kill Irish road racing in one sentence. Here, no, but, but, then, going, <laughs> but you know, no, what but like, that, that's the thing, and that's why I want to yeah. keep going because sadly, like, I want to do. I haven't done all the Irish meetings. I want to go down south. I want to do all of them. It's it's the clash of the timetables, but that that is a very interesting subject because it is struggling. Like, it is struggling road racing. Isn't even it? like when you go yourself to BSB. 
obviously I know I'm not going to go there and be competitive, but you're going around there with lads that are going to be pushing you to your max. Mm. So, you know, it's going to keep bringing you progressing. Whereas, realistically, you're going to go to the Cookstown, you're going to be there, thereabouts. To get that jump ahead for the likes of the Northwest and TT, it's, it's, it's a bigger margin, I think. Mm. I, I understand what you're saying, though, because I get asked all the time to go home and race at like the Cookstown or the Southern yeah. 100 and stuff like that there. But like, I honestly think I would be shite at it because I the, see all the, like the, I've been to watch and the little jumps and like the dirt on the road, all that stuff just fries my head. I'm like, I don't, I can't like switch off to like, even at the Northwest on a first night day of practice when the road's really dirty and stuff, I could be tense. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not feeling this. I'm not, not brave enough to go and you'd only have five laps it's, so if you didn't qualify you're at the back with a load of lunatics do you know what i mean so it's just like a, a snowball effect it's I, 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 I totally agree but it's like acclimatization for myself like cooks sound like you say turn one you're flat like it's almost northwest kind of thing yeah. isn't it you're, you're grouped in it's a bumpy exit you're going in and it's all that's the thing about the irish stuff as well it's very it is stop turn fire yeah and that's very northwest for me if i wasn't doing the northwest i wouldn't entertain cookstown yeah for that element, you know, for the money saviour. But for me, going in, like going into Cookstown, it's that. Well, say, say if this BSB happens in Northern Ireland next year before the North West. Is that fresh? At, is this fresh Bishop's news? Court, there's talk about ah, there's Bishop's talk Court, yeah. Which is so, brilliant. So if that happened the week before the North West, then all the road guys could go do Bishop's Court. Straight on to the North West. Straight on to the North West. That'd be class, that. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Mm. Jesus. And all the guys like Chrissy would... could stay and just have a good time for a week and work really hard for Dom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but would that would that yeah, be yeah, something? Yeah, I do. Yeah, obviously. Well, I'll be doing the British Championship anyway. But I would, I would love, I love racing at home. Do you know what I mean? Because there's loads of people that I don't get to see, hmm. you no, know, all year round. Because I live in England, I race in England. There's literally the Northwest now. The Ulsters shut up shop. It's literally the Northwest. The only time I get to race, yeah, at home. So what? When's it? When, how is that supposed, Bishop's Court supposed, thing looking? To, to be next year, that's, but I don't know talk, for definite. You know? Fantastic that mind because yeah. that is a hell of a track. That oh, I've only been round well one half a half a session, <laughs> lost half a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to ask. I know you do loads of extra things as well, and like on YouTube and uh, whatever. And the, the, there was the camera ca- common versions at, at one point. Uh, but I, we're speaking this just before, time next year, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> we're speaking just before, I'm moving next door. <laughs> but are you doing something in collaboration with Bennett's to do with uh, like a bike build? Oh yeah, so. Um, <laughs> so basically they come they come to me quite a while ago and I've had a few people ask to like sponsor the channel but like I look at you guys and I look at Taylor and stuff and you're just like do a proper job whereas I literally fuck about it on YouTube do you know what I mean it's literally for a laugh and it's more successful and than take, both of us no no I'll take I'll take my camera and like it's literally like there's no fancy editing or not and so I think I would feel a little hey, don't, bit. Don't do Chris. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think she does a brilliant job. Yeah, she does. She yeah. does. Yeah. Groveling yeah, yeah. Yeah. She does. <laughs> she does. Yeah. She does a mint job, but it's not like this cinema. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not meant to be anything. It's not. People like that raw thing. Yeah. Though, don't they? Like it's it. a good job because we'd be screwed otherwise. <laughs> yeah. But in that sense, and I, I did never want. I started as a joke and as a bit of a crack. So the last thing I was going to do was halfway through a video go. Please buy Bennett's insurance because I said so. Do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. That's not me. So I just said, here, I don't want the advert. And thanks for the offer. But I says, if you can think of something, then we'll do, yeah, 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 we'll do some something cool. else. So then they come back and said, oh, we're doing these giveaway bikes, like a restoration bike. Would you be interested in restoring one, doing some vlogs on it? And then we'll give your viewers and everyone at Bennett's a chance to win this bike at the end of the show. So it's perfect now. It's not like me standing there going buy this insurance. The mm-hmm. guy's literally, um, let's see, I don't even know how. It's like a you register, uh, like you put a quote in. Yeah, that's the one. See, I've researched that. Um, yeah, you, you, <laughs> it's you good put one. a quote in or whatever at the end get, of the video. Yeah, yeah, get a quote off them. That puts you on their link, and that's straight in for a chance. So that's literally you don't have to pay. It's free. You don't mm. have to pay for anything. And you haven't started restoring this bike yet. Yeah, I have started, but the vlogs haven't started yet. They're actually gonna. The first one's going to be this Sunday, so it'll be like a week or two before this is out. So oh, okay. yeah. Watch it because it'll be on. <laughs> yeah. Um, Catch up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna 
do that. But like I've literally started and went, fuck me, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So luckily Whitam lives quite close. We went and bought a G6R 750, which is something that I thought was cool because when I was young, that was like a super bike time, mm-hmm. you know, like 96, 97. So we bought that and then we're going to build it back into a completely standard road bike. So I've been quite lucky with um, Steve Wheatman's helped me a bit and Classic Suzuki themselves and sourcing me some parts and stuff. So I've got like uh, quite a few new parts and stuff for the bike. So I want to, I, I, I'm a bit Ian Elenemy in that sense, like one thing's right, but now the fact that everybody's going to fucking see it, so I'm a bit more stressed <laughs> out by it. But yeah. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying it and like it's nearly ready to start building back up and stuff now. So there's going to be like, I don't know, four or five logs. I look for all on all on doing this. So um, yeah, just I, I worry because there's people on that will watch it. And they clearly know I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. But I don't ever want them to... Th- I'm not trying to pretend to, to know, do you know what I mean? So I'll go, oh, I wonder how you do this. I wish it was a live video and they could answer me sometimes because I genuinely don't know mm-hmm. what I'm doing. So I'll be on the phone to with him all the time. And luckily he's like super interested in anything like that. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's what... That, as if I wasn't busy enough, that's... Um... Are you still doing the whip and track days as well? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the what about the the cancer charity? Are you still involved so with that? It, no, it's completely all with Marie Curie now. Yeah, it, it, like I handed it over a few years ago. It just got to the point where it was too busy and too much. So yeah. they took the rights for it, and they still use it for certain events and stuff. So oh, yeah, that's really, good. Yeah, that's good. Really yeah. good. A friend of mine actually just messaged us on the way in to ask for the. He, um, unfortunately, he's just lost his dad. Yeah. And uh, he wants the, ta- the that logo as a tattoo. So oh, yeah, yeah. remind us to get it off you before yeah, we leave and I'll yeah, pass it no on problem. to him. Because, um, yeah, I said I would ask you for yeah. that. Because oh, he, he still do the knee sliders and stuff like that. They all sold out, yeah. So that was actually RST. He did a run. Um, they only did like a run of something like 500 and then they and went, two of them. went straight away. <laughs> mm. And then they went, oh, so they ended up having to do to do a loads more. Because I think a lot of people... Like I ended up people coming up with them still in the box and signing them and stuff. So then, and then, but then I seen loads on it. I was I was more happy to see them getting used almost, you know, than sitting in a box in somebody's drawer or whatever. But yeah, it's a nice a nice thing that that RST did for. Because I was about to say you're back. You've gone from fit fit. I can't never pronounce that leather manufacturer. Fergie, fit, no, nah. Fergie, Fergie, that, that's it. So you let them struggle for another way. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gone from that. We're all RST lads, aren't yeah, yeah. we? And you two are a couple of bell ends these days, aren't you? So oh, good. <laughs> Tell you what, mate. When you're this good looking, you have to worry about your head. <laughs> they can have a bucket on their head. It wouldn't matter. Would it? <laughs> um, yeah. So you've but better again. So I've changed boots, right? And the can, do you know what kind of boots I've got now? Gits. Right. So yeah. How, how do you say that word? Gurns. Gurn. Gurnies. Garney. Well, I've got them for trials boots, but I've never tried to pronounce them. Got it. I... See, I don't think that's right. I think because they're obviously an Italian word, it's not, it can't be Gurn. That sounds as no. if you're yeah, right. I got it. And then HMY Customs do the paint job on them. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Amy so does they it. Cha- they so. changed the, basically, I told them what way I wanted the boot. And um, they said, oh, there's an issue with flow pink on this hard plastic. So I sent them a picture then and they went, Oh, that looks amazing. Can you tell us how he's done it? And then, like, I've tested them now to see if it will stay on or whatever. So then they're going to send them with the with it done. Have you had yours I think Reading, no, I Reading's, no. Reading's are the same colour as mine. Right. Because when I was chatting when we were out in Spain and I seen he had just plain ones on then, and then two or three weeks later, he's fucking copied me, hasn't he? Has he? He's not even that big of a deal, is he? And he's <laughs> Yeah. It's only, definitely only his feet are like double the size of mine. That ha- Hammy messaged Dom and uh, sent him a, uh, sent some boots oh, down God. for him. And he said, uh, asked him for a design. <laughs> Tell him what oh, he no, said. Oh, it was like, oh, what do you like? I said, uh, trees, the colour green and boobs. So I'm hopefully going to get some Raj design. Oh, yeah. So, I've just left. I've just totally left it with him. And uh, t- I tell you what, though, he's definitely worth a look on his uh, Instagram. Yeah, so before it's, H-M-I. it's it's. You normally think you're gonna get. At first, you introduced me to him and said, "Oh, he wants to do design your boot thing." And all right, I never really took it. But he does like perfect replicas of any designer. Yeah. It's outstanding stuff. I've seen some really, the, the bicycle shoes he does. I uh, they're, they're, they're track play. Well, mm. Give him a look. HMY Customs. There you go. That's another plug. Yeah. Anything else we need to plug? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, in terms of going back to the, like the TT crack. Uh, in terms of like predictions for the the different races, 
well, George Bean is going to pass recently, Lee and then Lee's going to pass me. Recently, we've been asking everyone for like sort of top three predictions. Uh, I've, I've tipped you for the Super Sport race. Thanks, mate. Um, I'll d- split prize money with you Thank for you. that <laughs> If you get a fiver, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take we'll a fiver. We'll take a photograph of it. Uh, in terms of the, the big bike race, the Super Sport and the, the Twins, do you have any like sort of thoughts on that? Do you know who I think is going to win the big bike race at the TT? Go on. The first one, first Super Bike race. Connor Cummins. Do you? Yeah. God, I want that. Who doesn't want that? Because he's been on a Honda for the last couple of years. It's not that fast. Mm. And now he's on a Honda that's very fast. Mm. And, and he's been competitive he as well, will, hasn't he? he? His mate, if you follow, I don't know if either of you two have ever followed him. He is the most precise person I have ever followed around the TT. When he, when he commits to a corner, there is no body change, line change. It, it is in like I mean like double and triple apex corners that mm. are in and out and you're making adjustment not him he is so tidy and I think because he's been there for the last two years and he was really quick anyway he's finished third in the last two superbike races yeah, so, you get, get some good odds on on that mm-hmm. do you think he'd give me some of his prize money <laughs> nah, <laughs> not a penny <laughs> well, how do you, I'd yeah. like to see Hillier oh god I, I just, do you think that's realistic why not? You know, the end of the day, he's there, thereabouts all the time. It's just... Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he's a good... Yeah. I, as a friend, I would like to see him win. But yeah, it'll be a big... I think it's a big ask because it's a new bike and that team's got no road experience. Yeah. And, That's the biggest problem. And he hasn't been doing a lot of short right, stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, how do you, how th- do you look past Pete and Dean? Like, oh, you yeah. Can't, you can't. You know, you really can't. Mm-hmm. What about Michael on the, I was about to say, on what? the Ducati? Do you think... I once went to the TT on a Ducati. You hated it, didn't you? We got to Balaf Bridge. Sugar Brian Zerdy. Oh, blew up. Cancelled practice one night and everyone booed at me. <laughs> felt terrible. Really? Knowing what you know now, oh, like, no, wait, no, do you reckon you could adjust that now or anything like that? Make a Ducati work? No. Oh, maybe that that there. That's a lot different. That that's what it, that's what if I mean. That team, mm. If that team can't make it work, no one will. But yeah. does that team want to go to the TT? But who, we, who in that team are road enthusiasts? Paul Bird. Does Paul Bird work on the motorbike? Too shame. I'd, I'd he's the one footing the bill to the mechanics to do it. Who? Out of the mechanics. Right, there. really? Does he not do the North West one year? Oh, yeah, but that's... Is that... Is that who's, he's not going to look after Michael, is he? I don't know, but he's part of the team. Yeah, but it doesn't... That doesn't I know you mean, said the team. Yeah, but is he... Is, <laughs> who, is it going to be Michael's own team? Will he want his own uh, people true. there? There's going to be a clash of that's a really good team and they're really good bikes. Mm-hmm. But if you went in there open minded and said, right, lads, you know what you're doing. I just want to ride the bike, but he's not going to do that. Right. So do you think that's going to be a, a tall order for him to, to the chance next, for the win? The next question, what bike will he have parked up somewhere? case it doesn't work as i say i'd be interested to in what he does for a no, stock i don't head, think he's... he i don't think he'll do that again if that i i think the bike will be good but like they must do two engines a weekend at bsb do you know what i mean not on mileage but for safety reasons and mm-hmm. one mileage would be up or whatever so yeah. how many engines do you reckon they'll do at the tt five <sighs> gotta be like you say when you're talking about mileage compared to short circuits yeah. what, what 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 do you what's a, what do you think you do it's stock thousand, for example, mileage wise. In a race, let's say a race. Ah, well, you, I don't know. If you've only got three sessions a weekend, you might, mm. on average, you do eight or ten laps a session at Oton. One you've minute. got two, well, one 15, 16 lap race. So, what is the track? Two mile round? Here we go. This is quick maths, Chrissy. Come no, on, go for it. Come on, no, So, that. say you've done 35 laps. No, you've done 45 laps a weekend. Mm-hmm. That's Two and a half mile of that. So it's two point six. You're not even. You're not even at a hundred. That is over hundred, but yeah, hundred mile. Yeah, that's a hundred and twenty-five. I think. Yeah. Well, there. So seven mile long no, lap. That, and there you go. Five, yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, just over hundred. Not yeah. much. Yeah. I was adding it up in fibers. See that straight <laughs> away. Um, but, <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. Like so, and same goes for the MBMs blowing out smoke. So when Taylor and them, not I'm not having a go, but mm. when Taylor and them were like putting oil in in a super shot weekend, that's not even that's two laps round. Yeah, I don't know. So what are they going to do? Put oil in the pit stop when they're fueling? Mm. Yeah, it'll be in t- oh, well. That yeah. will be interesting. Mm. That's the thing. Nothing wrong with the speed of it anyway. Oh, God, it'll be interesting to see them slow speed trap times, man. That's your catty. What oh about my the, God. So we've talked. Uh, do you sort of back yourself for the super sport race, or do you? F- 
Yeah. I could have to, wouldn't he? Why not? Depends what side of the bed, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you could be enough. clean useless or else I'll be Do- half decent. Twins? I don't I have no idea. I would like I would like to go because I've never any other time I've rode the twin, I've never really done anything on it. Do you know what I mean? I literally because I was worried about super sport and before that super stock and everything. And, and like when I went on Ryan's, I bet I did two laps of practice. Right. Two or three maybe. And then I never rode it. I didn't usually ride it at the Northwest because I, I didn't want to. Mm. So you were up again like GME or so and Michael's the same to be fair, but that pattern's it was good, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is but he back I, on the pattern? I would say will be uh, Michael Dunlop, yeah. Think so. I don't I've know. no idea. Like uh, but like you say, he's always been sure. patterns number one, yeah. kind of. But I would like I would like to see now when I'm actually gonna put some effort in the bike. We don't know. Do you know what I mean? But and I, I for honestly from getting on it, I like the bike. Um I just I don't know about speed and stuff. I think if we were racing everybody on a short circuit, I would say yeah. yeah. We'd have a we'd have a good do on it. You've been out spitting on that. Yeah. I think it's I haven't actually watched that video yet, but I have Why seen. not? I have seen it pop up a few times. <laughs> just been busy. Saving it. You saving must it. Have what? Saving, saving it for a special occasion. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, happy with it though. Yeah. Uh, just, I've only done two days in Spain, like I said, but literally I've got on it and thought, oh, this is, some bikes you just get on, don't you? And yeah. you think this is nice straight away. So. But, it's one, one of my jobs is work. I do uh, the social media for Colchester Scouts yeah. and all the things. So like we sell them and I'm like pushing them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. literally putting no, there's not even going to have an Aprilia badge on it. Really? Yeah, because we bought the bikes. <laughs> And I asked them, like, do you want to have any involvement? And they said no. So I'm, like, mm. I'm just going, if I see one Aprilia picture of me at the TT on that bike with them, I'm suing them. Is that possible? That's like, <laughs> you'll that, find a way, mate. Yeah. Go for it. That's massive for their brand. Like, in yeah, terms but of... they don't want anything to do with it. Absolutely what? nothing. That's crazy. Yeah. Because then they're, else... doing, they're doing race packages and everything. Like, yeah, but not, not, race. not to do with the TT, though. That's... Going is, any, is anyone racing, anyone else racing one at the TT? High yeah, profile. Brian McCormick. Oh, is he? Yeah. Of course he is. He's yeah. on the global robotics one, isn't he? So Hickman connection. Hickman is as well. Ah, that was about to say because what's happened? Well, with I don't Norton? know if he is definitely, but he's. I don't think he's riding the Norton. That's ah, so it's either a or Norton. Mm. That's a good thing. It, it's good and bad. It, it, it's because like it's it'd be nice to have see, Norton he, out there, but he it's was not... one of the guys protesting against. If, Pete, if you're watching this, um, Dom, Dom was one of the people that protested your Norton. Oh, no. I wanted you to ride at me, but he, he slagged it off and got you kicked out because him and Paul Phillips are big mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it is just a, it's a bit of an awkward one, that one, isn't it? Like, it's just I'd like to have seen the be... no one out there if there was not, 10 of them. It's not awkward now if he's already been kicked out. <laughs> it's yeah. the end of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if, it, yeah. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? There is saying that he, he could pedal, he could, he could, oh, yeah, he, he could win on a unicycle. Oh. Hickman, you know what I mean? Doesn't matter what you put him on, so it's going to be a fair fight. It would be good to see more brands. Like that's the reason why we got them. We could have just went and got somebody's ER6, do you know what I mean? But why isn't Farquhar there? there, there there's that many different things being said well, and got, stuff. He's what? got no one to run, has he? If I were to rid his bike and McGee had to ride his bike, well, mm. who's he running? Name another re- decent, well, I'm not saying it, but name another average to decent rider that doesn't have a super train. So yeah, but, in the, same, but in the same breath, if Ryan Farquhar picked up the phone, there'd be a lot of people. I, I know it's like first come, first serve, but you'd still, you know, there's a lot of a lot of doers out there that could get on yeah. a bike, like a Farquhar bike, and go like fuck yeah. on it. But there's that many Pete, different Pete, things. Mate, Do you know what I'm is, is Adam McLean there on his twin? He'll be riding his twin. For the right? McAdoo twin. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, in terms of the TT for yourself, what's, what would you uh, say is like a successful TT for you? <laughs> Do you have any like particular aspirations, or are you just going no, to sort just of want to sh- do your best? Just try and improve from you know the last time I was there. That's uh, that's the aim, and especially like in the twin race. And like somebody took something off me that told me they would give me, but for my birthday. <laughs> What's that? Didn't podium. you finish on the podium? He did. He just meant to give it to me. You were fourth, mate. Yeah, you were fourth, and you just missed out on the podium. Mate, like, I'm telling you, I was not. waving at the crowd. I was waving yeah, at everyone, and he still was right. This right, conversation, like, sitting in the car van. I just mean it like literally. If I'm in fourth, just just. Do you hear her, like when, t- back, when just uh, let me go, just let me, just for me, just this once. If you watch that drive to survive when Total goes move over, I yeah. mate, I was in the gutter, like I couldn't, I was like, <laughs> and he was still <laughs> riding round. <right. laughs> You know what I, mean? <laughs> I, I nearly got put out of the race for for slow was trying, riding. You know, you know, you're just coming up by the return road, then you look and then you're going, ah, oh, fucker. <laughs> so is that your when best? did you know? You've when had I, a P4 at the yeah. TT. Right, when, when when did when did you know that it was it like a, a third four four like a set like what what no, were you reading I, when you would go around? I only got one board and that was Ginger Hall. I came around the first lap and I, like I, I felt like I could have a bit of a do at it. So I was like, 
went like well I thought I was going extinct came through Ginger Hall some way put my pit board out I was like eight I was like what the fuck am I doing I was like these boys are going extinct aye so I was right so I said to myself right ch- chill out a minute so Jamie caught me and passed me I sort of so hung we got up. free too it didn't even eat he just fucked off like I just told, <laughs> I just, Jamie if you listen to this going yeah and I just told myself like, just relax just you know do what you can do and then I was coming through coming out of the bungalow my brother was there and he put P4 out and I was like 1.4 off I was like fuck I'm going to have to do something here and then to find out it was him after it like it was, you know I was even I stopped to talk to his brother and everything <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chill out, you know, I said um, come on Gary tell him to but even that I was, I was happy with my lap times and stuff on the twin so it was yeah. yeah, you lap faster than me, to be fair. Did I? That's what I mean. Because you won, and then you went to win, you won the Ulster after that. Yeah, that's that right, same yeah. year. Yeah. So that that was that was a bloody hell. Northwest did you get? Oh, the that's board? right. Oh, these these big blue. I did oh, actually yeah. pull out of that <laughs> race. <with> me and <laughs> I remember <laughs> that on the footage. You're literally <laughs> holding the bike up and going, "Hurry up!" Like waving at him. That was mint crack. Yeah, that. Yeah. But um, are you are you still on Dunlops? You're a Dunlop man no, for the I'm roads. No. Nope. You're going to Met. Mm-hmm. Well, are you Metzler? Yeah, yeah. Back on Metzler. So there you go. Well, that's a bit of home comfort for you, though. Aye, yeah, so yeah. It is, you know, it's, you, it's a black and round, aren't they? Brown black. You think you, yeah. You're supposed to be selling the medicines here, son. Come on, big it up there. <laughs> there we are. There's wow. a, there's a it, it is very like sort of binary between them two, but there seems to be quite a few people going over to Metzlers for next year. I, I don't know if anything's been officially been announced, but like from who, one of her, uh, McGuinness. I think. Yeah, I've heard that. That's uh, a team is deal, though. But is there anyone else that a rider that's picked the tire? Hochi. Um, no, no that's t- they run out. They always run Metzler. And, and then I think there's a what, Mil- the Milwaukee lot. Yeah. yeah no, I don't think they have. You know, they go to Dunlop? Well, when Michael rode for them, he was a, he's always been a Dunlop man. And yeah. then you've got. Uh, you yeah, but because... the last time Hutchie was there, when he took the front and blamed the team, what was he on then? He was on Dunlops. Yeah. So what's he on now, Metzlers? Metzlers. But yeah. you say that there. Whenever Michael was running Dunlops and Super Bike and Super Sport, Super Twenty always runs Metzlers. Really. Mm-hmm. When it comes for you to decide, are you just like done up through and through, or do you back to back them, or you just sort of happy with it? Just whoever pays in the most money. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well say it out loud on Chase the Race, and it's all about the brass. No, no, I've always run done laps. Yeah, yeah. I'm a loyal sort of a person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear them coming in here squeaking? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's fair enough. What are you laughing at? Just <laughs> so we've got um, going into by the time this podcast goes out, it'll already be in the, in the past. But we've got uh, two days at Silverstone next week for the BSB test, and then straight into the round one. So if it's get it's getting busy from next week, and then round straight one's in. not that weekend, though, is it? No, no the following week. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we've got like <laughs> stress me out there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, just before we finish off, do you know from taking the reins of kind of running the team and things, what's like the, been the biggest surprise in terms of like the thing you didn't think was at that time consuming or a big deal, but when you've actually done it yourself, you think, bloody hell, that's like a massive. Or expense wise, like, is anything you've been shocked at with like you can't. Paying his own wages. <laughs> <laughs> Can... Honestly, the most frustrating part is people not saying. When when they go get, get like I make up these little scenarios in my head, I go right. We're going to send this part off. This is going to happen. They'll do that. I'll ring them up and they go yeah yeah yeah. And then for that to happen, then there's something else follows on. So you go yeah yeah. Get to that Thursday. They said that was going to happen. They go oh it's not happening. Next Tuesday and they're like well you fuck two things after that. And then the worst thing is at the start I wasn't writing that down. I've got like a color chart. So yellow's ordered, green's delivered. So if I've ordered it. And I'm waiting on it. I'll write the date of when it should be or a date when to ring again. And then it'll go green or whatever I'm allowed to. And that was the, that. And after I I realized that Roger was quite short with people on the phone. And I used to think, fuck me, he's a bit rude, isn't he? Or whatever. You started to realize what I'm I... now. I'm like, I like today, I've just been at raffles and I've been absolutely asking it per in about 300 questions when bits from him pretty. He's like, will you calm down? I was like, mate, we've got like five weeks. Why is this not happening? That. But I've realised that they outsource bits to someone and they might even outsource it to someone else. So it's just like, that's the most frustrating part. Mm-hmm. But um, on the side of time consuming, I've probably never filled an entry form in before. So doing that was a bit of a <laughs> pain in the backside. Um, <laughs> nothing else, really. Just, yeah, just general stuff. But most people have been really, really good with me. Like even even that, that like the TT entry and stuff, do you know what I mean? That's like sort of, I, I did sort the boats and stuff before for the team, but 
now like sorting the boats and houses and some of the lads might fly over some of them are going to the, just having all that of a big fear of turning up to the tt and they're going oh sorry the truck's not booked on do you know what i mean something like that there but like i probably looked at that booking four times <laughs> that, i know yeah i know it's still on isn't yeah, it yeah, so, yeah, yeah. cheers mate so, <laughs> so stuff like that and i'm like probably the most lackadaisy person in the world when it comes to myself mm. but for some reason now when it's yeah I, I, and i was just i never wanted like I was sort of like proving people wrong because everybody knows I'm laxity now. I'm like, I want to be fit to do this. Do you know what mm. I mean? It's just like, it's just the same as being competitive. You just I want to do a good job sort of thing. So mm. that's you... what I'm most worried about is not doing yeah. a good. Like, is this wanting to be a long-term job kind of thing? I don't know. Cause I don't know how I could tolerate another run and a rider. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I would love to help someone and give them the benefit of the doubt, but it's like, in my eyes, I would love to run some kid that's skinned. Do you know what I mean? But it's hard nowadays because unless you get the budget, you know what I mean? Because there's oh, loads of kids that are, are shit hot <laughs> that haven't had a chance. And I was lucky enough to sort of scrape the last one to scrape through by getting a free ride and stuff to literally make a name for myself. If I was five years later, I would never have been fit to be a motorbike racer. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I would love to do that. Do you know what I mean? Where I could run some kid that is generally <coughs> can't afford to race. Yeah. <coughs> but and, has the and, skill yeah, and the, has the skill and like what it used to be like if you were good enough you got a ride you went pro that was the mm. way it was whereas nowadays there's too many kids walking around with 100g going all oh, right yeah, i'll Welcome buy home. that and i i would struggle to deal with someone like that i think yeah. rather than somebody that wants then, to but, the but then is there's the flip side of like i can we can bring the budget in now because I've got a little bit of a name. We're winning the teeth. You know what I mean? It, it's feasible to do. But all of a sudden, if you go to sponsors and say, I've plucked this kid off a council estate, we'll give him a chance. Do you know what I mean? He's going to be good. But will will people pay for that? Mm. But, like from an outside looking in, you'd think that would be almost borderline more. I like uh, a, 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 a bit, a bit oh, more yeah, of an attractive yeah. offer, yeah. shall I say? The yeah. fact of like, yeah. you know what? I'll give that a punt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than going, oh, he's got a load of brass. He's yeah. thing is, with people with money, it's, it's you, you do label them as brass. When, it's different when it's you're saying to someone, someone, we need three hundred grand. No one says, oh yeah, we'll have a punt at three hundred grand. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If you say to someone, give us a two grand, they go, oh yeah, he's a good kid. Give him a punt. There's, that's the that's the difference, I suppose. And then there's the value of if you sign someone like Jack, say in Supersport, he doesn't crash. So you might pay Jack a wage, but he might save you 40 grand in crash damage. Yeah. So this is what I don't, I've never understood with teams paying an average to good rider 50 grand when a top rider is 100 grand that doesn't crash. You do two super bikes, well, you've got 60 grand worth of damage, plus you've got the guy winning. So yeah, I've never really understood why, and I know it's easier because he might not crash and you might not have to pay it, but. He's gonna, do you know what I mean? Ten seasons out of eleven, he's gonna crash. So yeah. no, no, I get it. And do you know when before when you said about you being manager, was that a joke or do you actually? Oh yes, he's oh, been, he, oh, you are. I do everything bar get paid for doing it. Yeah. <laughs> like an unpaid manager. Yeah. Which I, oh, it's, it's like more of a crash situation. Is it, is it more? Is it more like a pain? Ad, uh, like. Uh, what's it called? Be, rears, like back pay. So, I'd like w- when you start, it, it oh, yeah. when he, when he goes to vote with GP, I'm going to get like one, a yeah. massive. <laughs> no, to be fair, he does give me a lot of advice. To be fair enough, but that that's that is so. It's that leg up, isn't it? You know oh. the fact of like like someone having Lee in your corner. That oh, is so crucial in this game, and it makes is. a huge difference, man. Has, has Christy got you on a fitness plan as well? Oh, he's me. I'll tell you what. The last you stick together, don't you? The last time I came over here, no, sorry, wasn't last time, but one of the times I was over, we're going to Scarborough. Christy's ah. She says, oh, let's do a bit of a workout. I was like, nah, nah, it's a bit close. It's a bit close. I lifted a seven kilo dumbbell and put my back clean out. Like literally he was on the floor. I thought he was, because he's always joking around being a plumb. And I said, get up, you clown. And he was like, mate. But he couldn't stand. He couldn't, he couldn't do oh, that. Then literally that, his back just stopped. Like, I mean, I felt the pop. And then he thought it'd be a great idea to pop me on like a balance board. Oh, and then he fell off it. Fell it straight through the heater. That was me banjacks to the weekend. So that was great. So, it's a dangerous game. But to be this, fair, to be <laughs> fair, just stare at the gym. It like... wasn't up to me to know that he couldn't lift a seven kilo dumbbell. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just assumed that he had the capabilities <laughs> for that. But... Yeah. The minerals. <laughs> the minerals. <laughs> but, um, well, um, have you got anything else to to wrap wrap up? Do you want to ask for any money or anything when we're on? Yeah, no. Any sponsorship? <laughs> Other than your YouTube channel. So if people just type in Lee Johnston on YouTube uh, yeah. for the things and then like both your names just on all the social medias. Are you are you doing any Ashcore clothing this year? Do you sell merchandise? 
Uh, red torpedo are yes. Right, mint. Um, so that will be that will be soon. Actually, I fucking have something on my list. Um, <laughs> yeah, in I don't know how soon they're going to be selling it. Obviously, our team clothing will be ready in a couple of weeks. But yeah, that will be soon. They'll they'll advertise that and everything. That's nothing to do with me. I'll, I'll share it obviously. But yeah. yeah, so keep an eye out for and people for, can uh, keep track of the restoration and hope yeah, have a chance to yeah. win it, which would be. Would, Cool. Yeah, log, log on there and um, get a look because I would I would like someone to get the bike that you know what I mean. It would mean something to do you know that. Yeah. I'm not saying it's going to be probably don't ride it even because it might not be safe. But get <laughs> get it and put it in your garage. And look or, after it. Yeah, yeah. I would like I would like because I've I've like put a lot of effort into doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I said to them, oh, I'm getting this new and that new. And they're like, oh, we weren't really you know maybe expecting that. But I'm like. I want it to be like a proper job. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. can just imagine Lee watching like motorway police after a BSB session. Yeah. I'll just flip the telly on. Oh, you should I recognise that Reg. Yeah. There's a bike like in half oh. on the M6. Yeah. Or oh, just, like I've never seen someone that's like more excited in all his life, was it? Yesterday, day before, oh, got a box. He's got a box. He's pulling like, brand new fuel caps. He goes, look at this here. Look at this. Like, as, it's a fuel so cap. odd that in it. Like brake calibers, and he's looking at. Them. Oh, is that something you've developed with age or is it so, it's <laughs> it's like, age, it's age. Age. <laughs> Jesus what it's age. No, no, as if <laughs> yeah I think so yeah yeah. can I tell you something I've, I feel like I'm aging like so much at the we moment we gathered that when you were talking about houses yeah and just <laughs> do you know sometimes where you like sometimes where you just like sort of slap yourself the my my granddad has always done this uh, thing where if he's like walking along and he's like in his own little world and like say if he's concentrating on something he always goes <laughs> like that with himself and I've always thought that's really weird like why does he do that anyway if over the last couple of weeks I've noticed you doing it mate I've been like I've been like concentrating reversing something or like doing it and I find myself going <laughs> stop stop I'm getting old I don't want to get old but it's just one of them things isn't it <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, uh, I, I would, you know, I would love to get stuck in with something like that. I'd never have time at the moment, but um, it, at some point I would actually. I think it would be like yeah. really satisfying and like going through and taking. I think the biggest thing is to pick something you can still get stuff for. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Do you know what I mean? Like let's say classic Suzuki mm-hmm. have been amazing trying to source me stuff. I I sent lists of stuff through of what I wanted to get, and I was thinking, oh, there's no chance. And the guy was like, oh yeah, this is in Germany, this is in Japan. I was like, I couldn't do enough for you. So yeah. Um, big thanks to them, I suppose, as well for and Steve waiting for shorting it out. Yeah, class. And um, well, obviously, best of luck to you both in the short circuits and the the road racing. Yes, uh, for the team. Have you got Damon? Well, I haven't mentioned Damon. Damon's riding for you, isn't he? Yeah, in Super, in Super Sport. Yeah. Super Sport yeah. So there's two man team in Super Sport. So yeah. best of luck to both of you. And um, yeah, all the thanks very much for taking the time to come on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank Mass thank you to our sponsors, Colchester Kawasaki, and also good and <laughs> also good, to our it? yeah <laughs> also to our patron <laughs> also to our patrons. Oh, in fact, uh, give us two seconds. Uh, say, we do patron questions. Patron? And I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll just double check for any good questions. Uh, do you run a Patreon page? It's about do to. I have one? Do you know what a pa- yeah? Do you know what Patreon pages are? I it's like where you get like um, pe- kind of- people to give you money for no reason. Uh, can't, it's like mon- <laughs> no, monetizing joking, monetize, joking. something yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, like free content yeah, mon- yeah. give them, uh, give but them I think extra. It's, di- it's different yeah so yeah but uh, so yeah, like a- I don't really know what I would do that would just confuse me, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because I'd just end up telling everybody something I was supposed to like keep it on the hook. Yeah, I just yeah. It's kind of like an OnlyFans for podcasts yeah. and like YouTubers oh. this type of thing. So. <laughs> Jordan's in. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, I'm, put that. I'm well up for that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, question about changing changing to Bell, which we've kind of uh, well didn't ask why, but like you've um, talked about <laughs> changing it over. I like the color of it. Yeah, uh, about the um. Any plans to do the Scottish six-day trial? I've seen you've been doing a bit of trial oh, ride. No, I, do you know something? Oh, I, I would like to go up and watch it, but I, like I know my level and Whitham's explained what it's like and stuff, and I just think it would just be an absolute suffer fest, so I don't see the point in... It's a little bit disrespectful even to the event, me turning up. I think that is like the best way to describe mm. it because it's something people... I've got mates that like try to get in every year, and I, I think I could probably get an entry, do you know what I mean? And I... I I would be mugging them off because they're better than me, but I'm literally getting an entry because of my name or go with them or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm no, I have no interest. I would like to go and watch though. Mm. I, I'm doing a similar thing for the two day Manx trial. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, I've, it's a good trial. I, that is. I've never, I've not, I've not done a trials competition yeah. in my life. I had a go on his bike yeah. one day. 
that's my trials experience and like Steph Hardman yeah but it's, it's she's like easier. oh if you come over and help out and stuff like that we'll give you an entry I'm like I, I had to go on a trial site car years and years ago that's cheating man what do you mean <laughs> what don't put your foot down on your tricycle <laughs> I wasn't obviously I wasn't driving riding the thing oh hey Wally that's like saying you, you learn to cycle on a with stabilizers <laughs> I did I'm still using them <laughs> Uh, really good question. I've done anything about this, but uh, Luke said, question really, what is it like training as a bike race with a Premier League football club? And do any of the players support you when you are busy racing? I've got some mates that play football. Oh, do you, do you train with them? No. Oh, right. That, is, was that Go out drinking with them. <laughs> Who, uh, is it like a local club? Yeah, they play for Leeds. It's me of um, Paul's as well. Well, the lad from home is, yeah. And then I know a few lads from here as well. Oh, that's what I love about Northern Ireland people in that period. Every, everything's yeah. home back at home. Like, it yeah. doesn't matter if you lived here for another 70 years. It doesn't matter. Yeah, home is home. Yeah. I just, yeah, oh, I, it's meant, man. <laughs> yeah, class. Well, uh, yeah, massive thank you to our Pete. I'm glad quickly reminded about that. And um, yeah, all the best. And uh, look forward to catching up with you soon. Lads. Yeah. Thanks very much. Awesome. Cheers, lads. Thank you. Thank you. Chasing the racing, powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt, and Benelli motorcycles.